Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Web developers. In this tutorial we are spicing up your HTML website with the power of Google Maps. Join me for a quick guide on how to add Google Maps to your HTML website in 2024. Ready to give your users a location based experience? Let's dive in. So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, having an HTML code, having a website for example, and you need some time to actually include uh, your map within your HTML website. So let me for example open um, an HTML code which is a simple web page that I'm going to show you in this video. So here I'm going to open my Visual Studio code and right here I'm going to open a new text file and basically I'm going to select the language to be basically in HTML so let's search for HTML and here we go so since I'm not good with HTML I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a decent HTML website so here we go let me just ask it real quick so give me a simple HTML website with a contact form or contacts us so here we go now we will have that so we just have to wait a little bit and we will be able to copy this whole page and include it in our basically our HTML code right here so here we have this HTML code and we have it right here as you can see we can save it we can for example go here HTML preview and here we can paste it and this is like contacts us form here we have the website here we have everything we can paste paste here information email and the message and submit it so here for example email hotmail.french and then we can submit it and yeah this is basically like something which is pretty decent we have a contact us and we have everything but sometimes we need to include uh, our google map inside of it or our location so in this video we are going to do that very easily so the first thing guys if you went to maps.google.com you will find here your basically your google map so let me just make it smaller here we go so let's say for example let me just zoom out okay that's perfect let's say for example that I want to have my location to be right here so first thing is once you click on it so there we go I have clicked on it you will find all of these variations of informations so you can share it as you can see you can see the direction save nearby send to phone and share it so what you will need to do here is to simply click on share it once you click on share it you will have this option to actually embed map so you can now with that so you can copy HTML and now what you can do is to add it in any section for example here um, I'm not good with it so let's see if it's gonna work um, let me just go here to chat GPT add this code inside of the previous HTML code so here we go and now you simply have to wait a little bit and it will include exactly the same frame that I have given to it so here it is adding it and now you simply have to copy it and now let's preview it as you can see location and here it is so it's pretty easy guys now to add your like your uh, Google map or address to your website your to your HTML website so all you need so let's try to actually uh, analyze what they did so here we have basically the buttons so like name email message these are exactly those so here they are so here it is name email and message after that we have the submit button and after that the section has ended so the first section which is the contacts us section has finished and closed after that you have to open a new section 
So when you open the new section, we simply give it a name. So we have created a second header, which is here it is. And basically the next thing which we did is we included the code that we got from Google Maps. So iframe, we just simply clicked here and we added it successfully and then we closed the section and what it did is basically creating a map inside of our HTML code without any problems so now you can literally click here click on control plus if you want to zoom in you can find exactly where the place that I have selected for example let's try to select a new place which is more detailed um, let's try for example to go for the White House so I'm going here for White House and basically yeah this is the White House I'm going right here share and copy this embed map so from here we can see the White House um, here is the White House here you can view it as a person you can like literally have everything from it but exactly this is not what we want exactly what we want is to add it to our website so the same thing come right here replace the code with the new code and it should be added right here so here it is with the white house has been added to our website and now we can run it view it and download it and they can also work on it so they can make your html more beautiful so in case your html wasn't really that uh, organized so basically they make it more organized for you if you want to really see the difference uh, well basically it's my this HTML code has been made by ChatGPT, so basically there is not much difference. The only thing he removed some spaces that which was not needed, and yeah, these are this tool is pretty good. So as you can see, removed some spaces, but in general, uh, adding your Google Map is pretty easy now. So this tool can be used to add your map into your HTML website, to your Wix website, Squarespace website, like any other website. For example, let's go real quick to one of the other websites, for example, Wix. You simply have to go to your website and click on edit site, go to your page builder editor or something like that whatever you call it and you can design the site right from it so you simply have to click on add code which you are going to add by your own hand and it's going to be basically the HTML code that you have copied from Google Maps so it's going to be this iframe code just paste it right there and you will have also the Google Map added to your Wix website for example it's not only app for Wix it's also working on any other website that can let you add a code or an embed code so here we go here we simply have to search for um, code so it should be here so add it should be right here code booking events embed code and simply choose HTML code paste the iframe and update it and it should be added so here it is this is exactly what we wanted so yeah guys that was basically it thank you a lot guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial